Partners, two days before Abraham Lincoln took a train to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, to help dedicate a national cemetery for war dead, he put his signature on a bill that would change the nation forever. It was on that date that Lincoln decided that a planned railroad to link the East and the West should start its trek to the West from Omaha, Nebraska. The easiest way to build a railroad to the West would have been the southern route. That would be St. Louis and then New Orleans, then head west through the sprawling flatlands of Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona, on into California. But with the Civil War raging, the only area available was the northern route, and it was a killer. There was not an easy way to get around those Rockies and the Sierras. Well, Lincoln's plan to unite the country from east to west while trying to hold it together north to south would be the engineering feat of all time. So, Jimmy, well, where's all this going? Hey, partners, I'm glad you asked. You see, it would seem natural that the railroad's eastern half would get off to a head start because of all the money being back in the east. Yes, it would seem that way, but uh, not so in this case. Our first transcontinental railroad got started here in California, in Sacramento. That's right. <laughs> and it was funded by four men. They became known as the Big Four. One was a banker, two of the others owned a hardware store, and the other one, the fourth one, sold draperies. But here's the fun thing. They got the idea for the railroad from our honoree in today's report. His name was Theodore Judah. <laughs> Everyone called him Crazy Judah because building a railroad was all he talked about. When people saw him coming their way, they'd go to the other side of the street. Jimmy, Jimmy, what, what was so crazy about this little guy? Well, Theodore Judah wanted to build a railroad from Sacramento across the 12,000 foot tall Sierra Mountains. <laughs> now, if that isn't a crazy idea, I don't know what it could be. Partners, unlike a car or truck, railroad trains can't follow much of an up and down path. The tracks, or the grade as we call them, can go up and down, of course, but only on a very slow slope. Now, that's the way it, the way it right here, on a very slow slope. The very thought of a railroad going across the mountains seems such a stupid idea that people did think poor old Theodore Judah was totally crazy. But friends, he wasn't. Theodore Judah could see in his mind a railroad climbing to the summit of the mountains. He was a visionary and a patriot. So Judah talked the four Sacramento merchants into helping him, and he set off to Washington to get an approval. Well, the four men were sure that Judah would be laughed out of Washington. They said, hey, don't worry about it. Let's let him go. But months later, Judah returned with a letter that okayed the railroad. What? Yes. And that letter was signed by none other than Abraham Lincoln. Now these shopkeepers were dumbfounded. Their crazy friend convinced Abe Lincoln that his plan would work. They couldn't do anything, but they got to start building it. Well, when things did get underway, Judah felt betrayed because these shopkeepers were using the sloppiest methods they could. They didn't want to build a radio. They thought it was a railroad and thought it was so dumb. Anyway, the more track they laid, the more money they got from Washington. Judah decided to buy them out and run his railroad the right way. So on his way back east, 
he took a sailing ship and then took a land shortcut across Panama. Uh, this proved to be a big mistake. You see, it was during that trip that Judah caught yellow fever. He died the day after he got to New York City. Yeah. Well, eventually Lincoln's dream was realized. Work started from both ends. The two crews met at Promontory Summit, Utah. Before the railroad was finished, more than 22,000 pioneers had died in covered wagons trying to get to the west. Now with Judah's Railroad, all that was over. America moved west because of the railroad. And the railroad was made possible by crazy Judah. Okay, partners, you know the drill. Look at those three boxes up there. The farthest one to the right has the red X. Click that one, nothing else. You'll return to the report page for the rest of this week's comments. Father time has finally passed, and Dennis is riding the railroad tracks back to Palm Springs. And he'll have another special video for this coming week. Hey, I love being with you like this on these videos. And I know you, the feedback I get from you is you like them too. So let me just say this. I love you. Go get them, tigers.